Okay, so we're going to whip up a quick basic project uh, using Express. Some students asked me to help them do something basic. Everybody's always struggling with the basics. Basics are way harder than the advanced stuff. So what we want to do is we want to try to get, uh, make sure my headset's, okay, cool. I'm going to pause for a second so I can put some music on. <clears throat> there we go. So there's a whole bunch of steps you can go through on the NPM init. Um, for this video, I won't be focusing on that. Um, should know your NPM and should have no should have downloaded Node. Um, let's see. I'm using over Node 12, so or 12 and over. Uh, the experimental 13 something X or dot X something. Um, yeah. So. Just a super basic Express app. This is all the yeses I said yes to. Uh, KT starter, version one, description, yada, yada, yada. So first thing I'm gonna change, always change is start and uh, node index.js. A lot of people, and I've sort of started to switch over, I'm kind of going with server, but my students have never seen me use server, so I'm gonna stick with this. And then the other one is is uh, dev. And I love having dev because and this structure because of this. Just very simple. <coughs> Keywords, there's nothing to say. For sure, just uh, oh cursor can go. Add my name, and then let's say uh, MIT. Uh, I saw some people using MIT, I don't really know. And dirty. It's another quick and dirty. Quick and dirty. Express. There we go. That's it. So uh, fills it all out. Clear that up. Uh, let's see. Now we need to npm install install or i uh, dash d, which is short for dash dash save. There it is. Uh, load line. Well, let me open. No, I don't want to open that just yet. There. See? Installed it as a dev dependency. So your options there were, oops, dash D, big D like that, and that'll make that'll do the same thing. Now that's a dev dependency, but the rest is Express, Pug, and that's it. Great, so everything looks good. Uh, call me neurotic. I just I like it like that. <coughs> just the way I did it this time to create one and then the other. Okay, you can ignore a lot of this. This here is just telling you uh, who to thank for what. Sometimes there'll be a solicitation for um, donations. This particular person, I believe, the gentleman at CoreJS, is actually looking at jail time in Russia. Can't remember if it was uh, something bad, like legit bad, or if he, you know, he's kind of in just a bad situation, circumstances. So feel free to donate to him. So now we got Pug. See, Pug this version, and Express this version. Uh, nine packages are looking for funding. And people can fund. Wonderful. Great. So we're all set to go. So now we need our index file. Index.js. It's the basics just to get going. Express. If I have a cough, it's uh, getting over an illness that's taken me quite a while. I'm just happy this illness is not COVID 19. <coughs> that's basically what'll happen to me. <coughs> 30 seconds to anything. Express. There we go. Now we got our app up and running. So if we go app.listen and we give it a port, let's say it's 3000. Uh, we don't have to give it anything else. Okay. I think it should run actually just like this. Never tried running some of these things so minimally. What did I say for the port? 
Let me say 3,000. There we go. Oops. There we go. Yeah. So it didn't do a fail. So if it would have failed like a straight up, the server, there we go. This site can't be reached. Not the same thing. This is cannot find the route. So let's give it a route. So app.get, because it's asking, right? It's get request. Uh, let's see, rec response. And then response.send. Hello world. There we go. Oh, got to restart the server. So let's use our dev server. Um, dev server reboot. That's what node does. See, to restart any time, type in rs, press enter, and it'll reboot. It should do it on its own though. There we go. Hello world. <coughs> now, we have a couple other things we need to get going on this. Um, let me just look at my cheat sheet so I stay organized. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. There we go. I'm going to make this a little smaller. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of this get rid of like that. Now uh, we need a views file. Views. So we're going to have all kinds of views. Then we're going to need. Uh, So we're going to have CSS and then JavaScript. So I think I'm going to just create those folders just so we can see the scaffolding of the uh, JS. Um, and then uh, if you want to get like really cranky about it, you can do that. But I I really wouldn't do that. I think um, you're going down a path here that you don't want to go down. So then you got here, you want to go layout <coughs> dot pug. Uh, and there's a bug in, in the Emmet that keeps adding that to the top. It really shouldn't be there. And then uh, let's see. Title. Oh, we're always going to pass in a title. Home or something like that. So it's like, um, it's like, it's like, a, like, let's say it's a company like Exxon and Two Calgary, um, Shopify. Buy. And then you want like, you have to say like home right there, right? Like you want to say like home or about or products, right? So um, let's call it like um, KT uh, Media. Okay, so now we're all good there. Um, and then we need a um, block. So let's add block content. You can call it main or whatever you want, but this is in like almost every example. So then we go index, dot pug, the home page, right? And then we go into the index and then just grab some code from it that I have from before, just to speed up little bits and pieces here. And then do I want to have everything in this? No. Okay. So let's just go uh, form get action probably in the future we'll say something like the guy the guy no just go with that I really don't like it small case like that I just like it like that. I don't know why um, HTML doesn't really care but so I care when I see it it's just got to be like that and then I want to label and then I want it to be like say name and then inside inside that label because if it's not if it's here okay uh, let's see uh, text uh, name and then there's another bug I found this one just recently like that I don't know why that's there too but if it's like this let's let's uh, get our route up to going again and render because now we're rendering the pug file. And that's the same, not the same thing as before. We're not sending the data, we're rendering. Uh, so now we're going to go index. Okay, and then we need the title. So we've got to send them the title. Uh, home. 
right? That was the height. Okay, so let's go back here again. Oh, I haven't done it so basic. Let me just grab that. There's a couple things I want to. Eh. It's all about noise when you're teaching. So you want to keep it nice and simple. Here, just add this. There we go. Okay. You want to add this at the top always. Oops. Not before your requires, but you want to add it before any gets or any uses uh, function, any middleware functions. Uh, this is a middleware function, by the way. Whatever. Path. Path. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, let's see. Const path require path. Okay, so path is a library from um, node. So that's all it was saying here. You see, it was saying path. I can't use that command, um, that library, with that method unless I've actually imported it. See? So there it is. So now I've said, look into my public directory for static assets, so like CSS, and JavaScript, like regular JavaScript, like add an event listener, that kind of stuff. And then this here is a sequence to set up pug. So let's see, set up pug. By where set mm. this is my static assets are. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Boom. And that's the input. Okay, so let's look at the code and I'll tell you, we'll go back, we'll circle back to the. Uh, uh, I'm going to pop it out of the way first. Go back to this one. Right. Okay. So I said you want it inside the label. This is why. Form. See this? This is not good. I learned a long time ago what you want is input to be in here. Okay, so let's say you want it to be labeled name, and then you go like this. My bad, I just get tapped. Okay, and then look, and the name and everything is still there. Wonderful. Okay, that's okay. Let's go back here. We started, there was no crashing. All this stuff above was from the path issue. Let's create some space. If you didn't know this, just click on the terminal somewhere. Press enter. I do that sometimes when it, there's lots of noise going on and I don't know what could what data I'm looking at, right? Um, and that that can be a little bit intimidating when you're in a new layer because you just you know it's just lots of stuff. And I mean now I can start to just kind of go, oh that was mine or that was mine from this last one. But when you're new, it just looks like all oh, this noise and you need to be almost told. Anyway. I digress. The point is, is that if you look at the inspection, you'll notice here that the head has everything. Look at that. Home is right there. See? Right there. Where did it come from? Where is it? Home. Title. Home. Passed it into the render for the index file. Index file. This extended the layout, which means all of this basically was like this. This is what it kind of, kind of the end result is. Now, if I save it, watch this. It's all the same. Okay, we only do this. What I've just done or undone, we only do this. Is this there? Okay, good. Here, I'm still gonna close that. We only do this because it's easier to compartmentalize your code. So when you're focusing on the index page, you're only focusing on index page issues. You don't want to focus on, um, you know, uh, what's, how's the viewport, just the character set. This just opens you up to mistakes. You're going to type this stuff out, and then inevitably you do over 10 pages. You've made a mistake, or you copy and paste it, and, and it'll do something like this. Oh, an error. The end of the string reached with no closing bracket found. Now this one's obvious. You look right here, and it's the last one. But I was looking at a student project the other day, and I actually had to delete 
20, 30 lines to find the one because it was so buried in like about 100 lines of pub code that I couldn't find it just looking. Oops. I'm trying to do that again. Right. So now we should be all good. We're back to normal. <laughs> Get API. See? There's no API now. Okay. Next problem. <coughs> Let's see. What is our next problem? Well, we're going to have to deal with uh, data from the form, right? That's a problem. So let's get that. Let's, well, we need a fancier listen. Let's, let's do a callback, which is, if you look here, this is the port number, host string, and a callback. So I can actually just run a callback in here, an anonymous function, and I can just say console.log and put the template strings, you know, the big squiggly, or the funny ticks in the top left. And I say, um, this server is running on port port and then I go and I port like that. That's these are my conventions, just that like that. So I go up here and I go. Uh, okay, technically you don't have an hour, I have to have an hour right there. You can have it like this const. I just I like to have certain declarations at the top unless it's absolutely necessary process n dot port or three thousand. So let's go here, take that, pop that in there. Boom. Okay. There we go. So another thing I like to do is I like to go host like that. Root there. Oh, son of a bugger. I put that in my dap in the inside the, the interpolation. This is this is to this, this, these, this to this and this are designed to interpolate the the, the variable for it, uh, their, <laughs> the variable port, and this is not something that needs to be interpolated. So, okay, there we go. Now, if you do this, slash slash like that, then watch this. See, nothing here. No clicks, no nothing. We go up to the other one, no clicks, no nothing. But look at this. And then if I want to open it, there you go. KT Media, home. Super simple, right? So sometimes doing a little, little extra jam, this little thing. Now if you close the port, you start it, restart, so you always can just click and open, click and open, click and open. I like it. So <coughs> now, we need to also, you know, the next thing we didn't we didn't work out. We didn't do a routes. So mm, no, I said I would do a basic app. Let's 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 do basic. Okay. Let's go back to views. I'm gonna open this on the side. I should be right there. I'm gonna make it a little bigger just for now, so you can see it there. So this is going to that API. Okay. I made a boo-boo because I was sort of focused on teaching and, and I kind of forgot to do something. And I actually had alerted to it earlier, which is even funnier. And then I said, oh, I don't want to get there because it's too complicated to start with. But this is the thing. So in order to work with a form, you have to deal with encode, encoding in JSON. Okay? It's just general. Okay? So let's see there. And then the other boo-boo that I made was, look at that, it's a get. So what I want to do is I want to post data, I want to send data. So when I'm requesting the home page, it's a get because I want to see the home page. And and when I so see, boom, there it is. But when I type anything in, I want it to go somewhere. And that's a post request, their API. See? Posted it. Post. 404 not found. That's okay. That's totally expected. But um, it was boo booed up because I uh, forgot to add those back in after I ignored them in the beginning. Uh, I think I'm going to make it much smaller. It's feeling a little claustrophobic for me. So let's now, let's, we need a post API. That's what this is telling us. So let's get one in there. One, let's say it's post app. And then we need, um, 
we'll use an API up here. That's what it's sending to. So it's API, right? And then comma. Let's see what we got here. See, path, path parameters. So that's this. And then the handlers, request handler. Let's see, okay. So first we have the request object, the response object. Okay, we take those in. This is essentially our handler. I think that's that's fair to, to extrapolate that. Uh, it's an anonymous function, and it takes the request object and the response object. So everything's running. It's, nothing's broken yet. Oh, it's dialing up. It's not erroring anymore. Okay, pending, pending. It'll pen for a while until it times out. Let's let's do something really simple. Console log true that or true that's I guess Oop. it's getting worse old man's making mistakes there true that but it's hanging because there's no real response okay okay so the next step is is we want to do um, right, request so when we fill this in we're gonna get a uh, we're gonna send a request. So. Okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'll make a call for name is equal to request dot body dot name. So over here, this is name. It's called name. So let's go over here. Okay, refresh. It's empty. Okay. Let's console log this for you. And DDDE, enter. And there it says name DDD. Now watch this so you can see the connections. Okay, DDD, name. Undefined. See? So it's this exact item that's pulling the data that says pull this data from the attribute. So it needs to be. The exact match. This one and this one are the same. So this think of this as the body. This is like your document body, and from there it, you're going to take the request body name. If we wanted, we could say, um, let's pretend we have another one. Let's copy that down. Let's see. Let's say um, even no no email address. This is all bad for, but so the name field, the value, the uh, sorry, the key is always the same. The value might change, but not the key. Same with the for, same with the type, same with, but everything else, these can all change. Type is a structured one, so you know it depends on if it's an email, if it's a telephone number, and so on. Technically, I think there's actually one for address, but I'm, I'm let's not worry about that now. So now we got request body name. Let's go now change name to uh, address. And now we got address, address, right? So this is just telling me the first part. And then this is saying what the variable is. And then this is saying what the key is, essentially. It's, that's how I'm sort of sending it for myself. So do we have, oh, I didn't save it, all right, there, okay. So name, Roger, KT at Northwest, enter. Do I, no, oh, my enter doesn't work anymore because, okay, let's get a submit button going on there. Uh, sub, this button, submit, submit. There, uh, Roger, KT, Av, Northwest. Okay. There it is. So name, name, Roger. Address, address, KT, address, okay? Let's stop it so it doesn't have to keep chasing. See, so if we go over here, we can see, let's go over here. I think I can make the dev tool bigger. Do 
it make it? Oh, yeah, it's just making the dev tool bigger. I was looking to see if it was making my browser bigger too. Um, let's see if we can make it a little bit a little more spacious. This is irrelevant. Okay, so localhost dialing up the the main route. It's this one. Everything's good. Like me. Then the API. Okay, API. Mm -hmm. And of course I cut it off. And then now it's showing me the form that. Cool, eh? It's a preview response. All wonderful. But none of this stuff should show up because I incompleted it by uh, by pressing the X and stopping the process. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and go ahead and just keep that down for my side. Maybe I'll shrink up the dot a little bit. I got a little bit of space on this side here. Let's try that. I don't think it makes it too too far back. This could take a minute. There we go. I think I'm done slopping around. Ish. There we go. Refresh. Everything's good. Home page. Okay. Now, we don't want this like this. This is ugly. You can totally do this if this is what you know. But what I would do, uh, other than getting rid of this horrifying console log, and incorporate this one. Okay, here we go. It's console, a uh, const, destructure name, address, and then under that request dot body. And then this will pull out the main address. If you want me to show you, I'll just da -da 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 -da. neat. See? Four Ds and three Ds. Boom. Done. There we go. Let's see what happened down here too. There's our API. Let's organize that a little bit. There we go. Still dialing out. <coughs> Okay, so what's our next step? All right, so I just like ran a little bit just to make sure everything I said would go smoothly, which is always the biggest thing. Okay, so we got the data. Um, thing is, we have no database, um, so we need some kind of like uh, uh, makeshift database. So top of the page here we can hack in something called like uh, let's say we got uh, uh, what is it uh, maybe an address so it's like it's a const user management let's say it's user management let's and then um, this is gonna be an object right um, we're gonna make it an object for sure so then uh, we want an array of objects because every time we enter a user into our address book um, oh, it's called address book. Address book. Way better. Let's do that. Um, right? Uh, maybe we'll even, um, let's, okay, let's just add a phone number here too. Number, phone, um, nope, nope, nope. Uh, select, uh, phone. And then this is phone, 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 text. This should be like tell, I think. Is the uh, but that's okay. We're not there. We go. <coughs> I guess we could add some styling to it, but I think we're okay with the way it is now. No, so we crank you about the way it is. Boom. I don't think we need to keep the whole thing on there. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll just yeah, okay. Uh, where was I? So here, and we need to, okay. So now we got our address book. We're not using it. It's global though, right? Because it's at the root, right? Everything on the against the wall should be the root. Um, so we have access to it inside of each one of these functions. So let's go. Um, oop, we need uh, to add the phone too. So it's phone, right? Phone, phone. Yep, yeah. phone and name. Phone. So phone is there. Good. And then uh, so we go address book. 
dot push name name address now, walking this back in a second, I'll show you, I'm wasting a little bit of time doing this. So, okay, now let's just go over here and console log that. I console log everything. There's no reason to ever, ever think to yourself, I know everything, everything is awesome. Let's try it anyway, of course. Um, uh, there you go. So when did that address book like that? Now. <coughs> All this is in an object. So if you were to go like this, and console log, let's see what happens. I'm gonna comment a couple of these out just to reduce the noise, okay? Let's just see what this does. We're gonna do it again. Um, let's add a full, yeah, let's do it. Ticky, ticky. Ticky, ticky, tick, tick. Okay. There you go. That's what's in the request body. So, now that we're doing that, let's get rid of all this. Take this. Get rid of that. And then, boom. Let's go back here. That's an object, right? So, I'll just go request body. Just like that. Now, let's test and see if it works, okay? Let's go back. Let's do a big refresh, purge everything. What do we got here? Favorite con. Right, we're missing a favorite con, because that matters. Uh, let's see, so Roger, address, Northwest, 403, letting it There it is. Now, if we want to add Roger two, because the world is not, you know, worse off already. And then select some zeros. And then add it. There we go. Now I got an address book. Okay, this is the super super simple way. Now I I pre coded this little next bit. I'll have to tweak it a little bit because I added this one, but it's just because uh, I didn't want to flip flop around while while we're working on this, okay? But uh, let's go over here. And I also left something to explore together. So let's do this. <coughs> there we go. So let me just show you how this will <coughs> it'll crash, okay? And that's okay. It's important to know why, see? Let's take a look at it real quick. Read property length of undefined. Because user management is not being passed in, right? So if we go over here, it's asking for user management, just like it's asking for on, uh, on the title. It's asking for title, right? Right here. Okay. So let's pass it in. So let's go user. Sorry, not user. Address book. So passing it in, still gonna crash. So I made those changes. Let's go over here, address book. And then I made changes to the object, right? So I added phone. And now we're gonna say phone. Boom. So it's gonna take this cons. This is just Pug's way of processing JavaScript. This is a for each. Okay. I'm just learning Pug how it translates JavaScript. So let's try it again. Shoot. Okay, there we go. Now everything looks good. Now let's try it again. Let's clear everything out though. I don't want anything else. So Bob, address Toronto. So all the bobs are in Toronto. Who the heck is that? And then, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. Great, right? Except, why isn't it here? Let's take a look for a second. Address book. Name, address phone. Oh. 
name. Okay, one other pop-up. Address form. Refresh and there it is. Now, watch this for a second. Um, Kevin is from Vancouver. Vancouver. Uh, his number is 999. Coolest number on the planet. And then it it's showing it's here, but it's not up here. Why is that? Look at this. Because it's got no direction. It just posted it. But there's no result. So let's let's give it a response. We need to respond. Server needs to respond to the browser, right? So status two zero zero one or two zero one dot um, redirect slash there. Boom. So now when it loads, right? There it is. It loads right away. Why did that not show Kevin? What was the oh I didn't save it. Okay, so let's 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 try Kevin all over again. There's Kevin. Because Kevin was stored here. He just wasn't getting properly why is this still not there we go. Uh he just wasn't getting recognized here. Still being stored. So there you go. Now you got Bob from Vancouver, uh Toronto. And then let's, let's see. Eight, the beer, and then we get like garçon. That's not the right spelling at all for Montreal. Actually, I know an Iman, Imanuel, and we call him Iman, uh, with great affection. The guy is very much loved in my social group. There we go. So there's your address book. That's how you want to build it, and there's that. So then when you're like, okay, this is my final product. This is my to-do list. This is my address book. I'm going to clean that up. Do I have any more uh, console logs? This is a console log that you probably don't want to have in production. Okay. This is the kind of thing that is sloppy and doesn't look good on your, on your, uh, on your project. Okay. You want to have, you want to remove this stuff once you're ready to go. So you go like this. And you just go, boom. And everything disappears. And you just refresh. And now you start over. Kevin. Address is Vancouver. So now this guy had a look at it. And there we go. Okay. Next, we're going to. Refactor this a little bit to write it to a file. Okay. Okay. So now the last step is is uh, making the file, displaying the dis the data. So I'm just going to pull that out. And the reason why it's erroring is because there's nothing there. So. What server did it come from? Uh, okay. That was my wife checking on me, seeing I'm still alive. Let's see. So it's got there. It's got the ground. Did I save it? Save it. There we saved it. There we go. We're all back to you know kind of zero right now. Uh, nothing should really work because I deleted like some of the stuff's going on. So okay. So what we're gonna do is we'll just create an array here, and that's it. That's it. if you want, you can do like you know it's actually not a bad idea to think this is what I want the data to look like. So let me create a valid JSON. Uh, example, so like Roger, and then um, what is the address? Um, West, and then just hit like phone, phone, and then one, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, there we go. So it's all looking good. It's recognizing the file. So one reason, one thing to think about is like uh, the reason why these numbers in quotes is you never know when you're gonna get this okay so 
you know, you're, this is just your raw file. If you want to do error correction and all kinds of different things like that before closing the file, that's completely up to you. So this one, what we want to do is make it so that this, this will just display so that we stop getting errors. So let's uh, uncomment this because it's going to error no matter what. Let's get some display data in there. Uh, let's get rid of this ish. <coughs> okay, we need a file tool. Uh, and then node that's fs. So require uh, fs. Okay, so now we need um, to get the data, right? So we need um, address book. And we got to get it from uh, fs. Let's see, read file sync. This is a sync, so what it means is synchronously reads the entire file. Cut. So that means like nothing else will happen until this is read. Not necessarily a good choice, but uh, we're going to do it this way for this one. So then uh, we'll go data, and then address book. Oops. Okay. Error. So that's in there. Now remember, it's JSON that's coming in. That's not. Let's well. Let's see what I'll show you what JSON looks like, like when it's this kind of scenario. Okay, so let's go back on that. So back here, blows it up. Yeah. Okay, but before it blew it up, this is what we was happening. Address book and then buffer. Okay, so that's JSON. So now we we need to do is um, what do we want to call it? Address book. Maybe like JSON, and then. Uh, address book data so like a data just data so let's go with that address uh, JSON I'll parse so we want to parse the JSON right converts a JSON object uh, string into an object okay so that's what we want <coughs> there we go now let's try console log in that one okay Okay, this is still blowing up on me. Okay, so it's just for just a few more seconds. Okay, let's go over to the bottom. There it is. Now we got something, right? That's that's this. So we got some action. Okay, so let's get rid of that. We'll comment it later. So now we just have a regular um, an array with an object. So now we need to get that object or that array because we were set up for an array, right? So we have an array of objects. So let's maybe uncomment that because we're going to fix that like zip zip. So let's pass in the data. Uh, what do we call it? Display data. Let's call it, let's just reduce it. How cool is it? Pass in display data. So now to get passed into here, there. We get passed into here as an array. Then it'll iterate over the array, finding the object in each one, and it'll print it all out. See, it worked. There we go. So now we don't need a console log there. That's it. That's our get every time we run out of the page. So if we want to go Bob from Toronto, Toronto, and then we'll get rid of that. So crazy number for Torontonians. And then nothing happens, right? Because that was a post. We're supposed to go over here. So we nuked our post because for obvious reasons. Um, so we put this inside because every single time um, we want to come to the home page, we want it to load what's new, fresh. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's take the current file. Let's parse it so we can mess with it, right? Then we take our display data, which is this array, right, of objects, and we want to push our rec button. So whatever we put in from this, we want to put it in there, right there, as an object, right? The rec body was this. Remember, whatever we put in here. So we're going to try to put Bobby in there right now. Okay, so 
Mm, okay, let's just try for Bob it. Nothing's gonna happen, right? Okay, why is nothing gonna happen? Same reason as before. So now we need to go response dot status two zero one dot uh, um, redirect and back to the home home page, right? Send the message and then send it home and then come home. Is there anything else? No. All right, let's go Bob again. Toronto, crazy Toronto number. Looks like ours. Let's, let's make it crazy. Let's go to something. Fun. There we go. Mm. Oh, I booted. What did I boot it? Oh, very simple. Okay, so I took the data, and it's wonderful that I pushed this onto this data, but I did nothing to the file. Nothing to the file itself. So what I want to do, so I want to take this, this data, okay, I want to go const JSON prep. And then I want to take it all and I go JSON string file. So that's how you re-encode it back to JSON, like that. Okay, so now that that would give the buffer thing. Let's do the buffer thing for fun. That crazy buffer stuff. Okay, let's go like this. And that's concerning. Let me take a look at some of this. Okay, so I ended up just like pushing myself a little too far on this one. Uh, push and uh, where's it pushing? Pushing, pushing, pushing. Rec.body. There we go. So now we got rec.body. Push the data. Now I need the stringifies. So I go const stringy. So now that makes it all gibberishy again. And then I want to go fs, write file, and I'm going to take uh, the path. It's not this thing. And then you want to pass the data, stringy it. So what you're doing is you're you're overwriting everything on the file. <coughs> <coughs> and then you take uh, note it's important to always run an error callback in case there's an error. Let's see, don't get that. And then if error console log console error. 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 This is the parameter. That's why that's going to like declare here. I can get rid of that too if I wanted. I don't know if that. Yeah, I was gonna say. My tool puts it back, but I think that that's. And I can do this too. Uh, like this. Like that. Okay. But you don't actually need to. If it's on the same line or at the end of the if like that, like I had, then it's an implied return. Okay, just like that. Let's see, so I think we got everything there. Uh, let's see, any errors? No, okay, so it's uh, Bob, Toronto, some crazy number. There it is. And then Dave or Kevin uh, from Vancouver. Well, that's an interesting 
probably. So there. Okay. Just delete that one. So it works. This was oh, messed up my array. There we go. Format document with there. So it looks prettier. But when the, as soon as the program overwrites this, it'll turn into what you saw just now. But this is just easier for human beings to see. And that's it. That's how you do it. That's how you present the data. This is how you manage to do it without uh, a database. Um, and these are your routes in here. The ultimate goal though should be to have a routes file routes like that, and then you move them in there. Um, you'll see that in my other um, other videos. Okay, enjoy.